I'll do a QA and a I'll answer all your questions to the best of my abilities. So let's jump in. Da, 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 da. Let me get rid of this banner. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, he says, says it right. Mark Cuban can miss the investment of his life with, of his life with Cardano and World Mobile. I certainly won't. And that's the thing, like, do I know that Cardano is going to go to the moon, Mars and back? I have no idea. No one ever does. I mean, they're doing their best, but it's like all businesses out there, you know, how much, how can you grow? How much can you scale? How can you build? And are people going to use your product? I mean, look right now, it looks like people are using Cardano. People are using Ethereum. People are using Avalanche, all those things. I don't know if it's a winner take all. I think it's going to be a winner take most type of thing, but does that mean that they all get aced out? No, uh, I think there's a long road to go, but um, uh, we'll see. That's why I like to spread my money, my investments around. This is what I personally do. I don't like to just go, well, I'm just going to go all into Bitcoin. Because between us, if you bought, if you bought Bitcoin in 2017 at the very top, top, around 20,000, you're up like three grand in five years. If you just like woke up from a coma, is that the greatest thing of all time? Not really. You know, I'm just saying, I'm just telling you, it's not the greatest thing. Although on the flip side, if you had bought, I mean, if you had bought Cardano at the peak in 2017, I think it was like a buck 40. No, probably like a dollar 10. You're, you're down about 40%, 60%, 50%. Yeah, roughly. It is what it is. That's what uh, bear markets are for, for accumulation. All right. Uh, <laughs> all in Shiba, you know. <laughs> <laughs> do you ever feel where an alt is? I don't know. I don't. I can't even tell you if this is the last low that we see. A lot of people are still calling for another another drop. And um, you know, I had this. Just so everybody knows where I'm coming from, let me show you something. If we take a look at, yeah. It's called cycle lows and highs. If we take a look at the cycle lows and highs, just so you know, like in 2013, I mean, you had a high of $1,100 in 2013, which is pretty good. I mean, back before when it was like nothing, it was like a couple, couple bucks. But then it went down to $172. That's 85% drop. Guess what happened in 2017 to 2018? It went down 84% to its absolute low point in that cycle, in that in those four-year cycles. So 85%, 84%. You know what the percentage is for this cycle? 71%. So I'm not saying that it's going to go there. I'm just saying that historically, we've got some ways to go. We'll go from there. Ebby says, video quality is poor. Sorry, Ebby, can't help you. Uh, good morning, Rob. How's it today? It's pretty good. I mean, good enough. Healthy people have a thousand wishes. Sick people only have one. <laughs> uh, <laughs> a blockchain that can't be turned off. Shots fired. Yeah, I don't know. Hmm. Always a pleasure. Ah, Mickey's here. You know, Mickey, if I would have known, I would have put you, I would have given you a link. You could answer these questions with me. Uh, where's the pool green? It's right there. It's my green screen. Oh, okay. Something must have happened. I don't know. Uh, let's see. What did I miss? What did I miss? Chevo has a good point. So what you're saying is that these nuts, NFT is the way to go. Look, that project is awesome. I love that community. It's the greatest. Um, we'll take a look at the utility, but let me tell you, if you ever want to find a laugh and a chuckle, go to the D's Nuts NFT community on Discord. Fantastic stuff. Let's see here. Shannon Miller says, Mickey, give me a job. Plenty of jobs these days. Uh, that's a good point. So, yeah, look at that. St. Jude says... Bitcoin market has changed a lot since those two cycles. I'm going to have to humbly disagree. Look, remember in 2021, let me take you back just a year ago. Rob, you have PTSD from the 2017 market. 
and you do not understand what's going on. Okay, why? There's so many institutions, and they're going to buoy it forever, and just going to be small swings of small bulls and small bear markets. There won't be a crypto winner anymore. It's different this time. And it wasn't. It was the same thing repeating itself. And then people would say, but, you know, Tesla's here. And they, and, you know, Elon, he doesn't lie. He's, he's never going to sell because he said he's got diamond hands on his Twitter account. So that's got to be what it is. And he sold. He also said he wasn't going to sell any more Tesla stock, and he sold that not too long ago. Maybe it's because he has to pay for Twitter. And then remember that these institutions, they don't answer to you. They answer to stockholders. They don't care about you. They carry what, they carry what their stockholders say. And what everybody says is this time is different, those are the four worst words in finances. This time it's different. It might not be the exact same. And I would urge everybody to read this book. It's called This Time is Different by Reinhardt and Rogoff, a couple of economists. And they take a look at eight different centuries of financials just to see exactly how much things repeat over and over and over again, which is why I'm so worried about this 100-year cycle. Uh, look at, just do a Google search for fourth turning and go from there. But I mean, St. Jude, me saying all that stuff, guess what? I could still be wrong. Maybe it is different this time. I don't know. But that's just the things that I see. All right. Uh, October can be a rough month. Very true. Uh, what is it? What does it cost to own a node and what is the ROI? Well, nodes aren't really up right now, right now. Select few. But uh, you have to carry, I think it's 100,000 world mobile tokens. And when that, that came out like a year ago or so. So um, you can scoop them up right now. But unfortunately, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Mickey, but, uh, or anybody in the world mobile community, I think all the earth nodes are already taken. I think it's already done. That's the thing about you know, planting those seeds. Like right now, I got a lot of different, or a couple different products that I'm, I'm uh, invested into that I'm not going to see much of anything for a while. I'm okay. Because I'll be here tomorrow and next month, and next year, and three years, and five years, and 10 years. God willing, depending. We'll see. And yeah, go from there. Uh, J-Lo says, Rob, do you own any gaming NFTs? Just curious about a few myself here was worth the games. Uh, I should have got something for com from Cornucopias. I missed out on that one. I got a couple of land plots, which Mark Cuban says is the dumbest idea in the world. Yeah. Uh, but um, no, uh, NFTs, I own... Uh, the tokens for Gensukishi, that's a good one. I like that. I like the, I like, like the crew there. Uh, but the other stuff is uh, not so much into, into gaming or play to earn. But I think that's the next big thing. Uh, let's see. Yeah, more Cardano projects. Well, <laughs> got another better doing a Sunday. Exactly. And what else did I miss here? Moonshine fuel, 100-year cycle, does that pretend to world reserve currency and fall of global economies? Yes, in a way. But you can just call it um, generational cycles. And it really goes through, just like there's, there's four-year cycles in crypto, there's four roughly 20, 25-year cycles in these 100-year cycles in the world economy. So again, just take a look, just do a Google search for fourth turning. There's a lot of information about that. That's it. UFO, I do have some UFO, it's crazy. I, but just it's just sitting in my uh, MetaMask wallet. What's the name of the walking apps? Uh, there's two. Mm, there's one called Sweatcoin, which goes live for its crypto in September 12th. And the other one's called S Miles or Smiles, where you can uh, put that on your phone and you get, uh, they pay you in, um, in Bitcoin. So or Satoshis, very small Satoshis, but it's free and uh, that's it. They probably steal your data. I don't know. I'm just kidding. I don't know if they do or not. Sweat token doesn't. That's in their terms and conditions. That's what they say anyhow. And that's it. All right. So Sunday's a light day. Nothing really going on. But I wanted to put that video out because I thought it was, I found it fascinating about what Mickey was talking about. But that is it for today. So look, if you like today's video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'll be here tomorrow. Hopefully you will be. And that's it for today. So thanks so much for stopping by. I do appreciate it. And I'll see you on the next one. Adios.